Hi guys, Brown here, welcome back to the Williams Road to Glory career mode. Here today for part 6 of the Dutch Grand Prix. We are in qualifying currently, where we have some more and more one parts. That's a mouthful. As you can see, the engine's on fire. Again, same thing that happened to me last about in Bar in um, Belgium. And once again, like I think it was in Silverstone, Sebastian Vettel decides he's going to try and overtake us while we're trying to do our qualifying lap. Which is very frustrating. The engine's gone. I don't know how I can still drive with it. But to be on the safe side, there's still quite a few races left. So we are going to take an entire new engine column. Let's get into the race. Welcome along then to the North Sea coast and Zandvoort, 25 miles away from Amsterdam and the host for today's Dutch Grand Prix. It's a race the great Jim Clark won on four occasions, leading for an astonishing total of 370 laps. A lap of this short 2.6 mile Zandvoort circuit features 14 corners, 10 to the right and four to the left. The main straight is 678 meters long and heads into turn one, the Tarzan corner. With DRS down the main straight into the braking zone, that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Hamilton, Sergio Perez, and Leclerc, Norris, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, and Pierre Gasly, Vettel, Sonoda, Lance Stroll, and Ocon, Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nikita Mazepin. Russell, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Brown. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So after a very random Belgian grid, we're kind of back to normal. It's going to be a one-stop from the hard onto the soft tyres. So five red lights come on. It's lights out and away we go. It's Mark the Red Bull at the front, but we're not bothered about that because we're looking at the back. Starting last. Can we go down the inside of a couple of cars with side by side? With the three wide there, with the Haas and George as well. The three wide just in front of us. And there I think is Mazepin as we are trying to break late and go round the outside of both of them. But we haven't got the exit. George is still side by side with the Haas. I think it is Mazepin. Mazepin though looks like he's just got ahead. And we've nearly pushed George onto the grass. And he's got around our outside. And stays ahead. A couple laps there onto lap three now. And you can see George there. Try to have a look at him. But he's just a little bit too far away. It looks like we might have an issue. Hang in there. We're attempting to manage it. As we now have an issue, which is not good, and we're starting to fall back from our teammate. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. Oh, shit on it. After all... The saving parts, last time out in Silverstone, last time out in Spa, we take new components and the engine's gone. Damn it, we needed a good result here after those two. Oh, Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. 
and I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. This game just gets more and more unrealistic, don't it? I was Bottas winning the race. But yeah, that's really frustrating. We really, really needed a good result here, but this is the player faults. I'm not complaining about him because they're very cool. Yeah, it's so frustrating. That was a brand new engine as well. And it's gone bang, which just shows how brutal the faults are. But it's just frustrating because we needed, we needed a good result. And to say there's one component is very much an understatement. As you can see that it was the MGUH that had decided to combust. So we're going to now have to go back to a other part and manage it for the rest of the season. Not that many races left now just for... I decided to work on the reliability after that. You had enjoyed this video. It's a very, very short one. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Hopefully, that's the one and only time we'll retire. And until the next one in Italy, goodbye.